I have a confession to make, guys. I have this tendency to clarify pretty much everything and anything. And apparently, you guys like that because both clarified cocktail that I've made on this channel did pretty good. So I thought it would be very interesting to make two cocktails, one classic way and one clarified, and see how they compare. So today, guys, we're gonna make a paper plane the classic way and one clarified, and we will see which one wins the fight. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So, as I said, today we're gonna make a paper plane the classic way and we're also gonna clarify it. Why have I picked this cocktail? Well, many of you actually requested that I would make it on the channel and even one of you requested that I would try to clarify it and see how it turns out. So I thought it would be the perfect candidate to compare the classic version to the clarified version. So that's what we're gonna do today. This cocktail is deadly simple. The clarifying process is not really more complicated. We're gonna start with the clarified cocktail and while it's gonna clarify, we're gonna make the classic version. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna start right off with one ounce of bourbon. Then we're gonna pour in a mixing glass this time or whatever uh, glass vessel that's not important at this point. Then we're gonna add one ounce of Aperol. And one ounce of Amaro Nonino. And guys, I know Amaro Nonino may not be the easiest Amaro to find on the market, but this cocktail was created around it. It was created in order to make it the star of the show. So I think if you wanna make a perfect paper plane, it is very important that you use this Amaro. Sam Ross created the paper plane in 2009, and he's also the man behind many other modern classics that we love, like the penicillin, for example. And when he created this one, his goal was to create the perfect balance between sweet, sour, and bitter. And that's what he calls the holy trinity. So if you use a different Amaro at home, chances are you will ruin this balance because the uh, sweet content may be different or the bitter intensity may also be different. So you can give it a try, but I think that Nonino is the one to use for the perfect paper plane. So that being said, now we have to add one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice to the mix. And now it's time to add the milk to the mix in order to get the clarification. I said that many times in my previous video, but in order to get the perfect clarification, you will add the cocktail over the milk and not the other way around. That's the best way to get the perfect result every single time. So we're gonna add one ounce of whole milk into another mixing glass. And we're gonna pour our cocktail over it. As you can see, the curling process has already started, so we can start the filtration process right away. So over a clean mixing glass, you will place a funnel and a coffee filter, and you will pour the cocktail over it. The first drops are always pretty cloudy and that's normal. We're just gonna let them drip for a minute and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna re-pour it over the unfiltered cocktail. The curdles will settle at the bottom of the filter and that will help for the better clarification. Guys, do not throw away the curdles because if at the end of the first filtration you're not satisfied with the result, simply take your clarified cocktail and pour it over the curdles that will make for an even clearer liquid at the end. So again, do not throw the curdles away until you're satisfied with your cocktail. All 
All right, guys, so now all we have to do is wait. So while we do so, we're gonna start to prepare the second paper plane. Once again, in our shaker, we're gonna pour one ounce of bourbon. One ounce of Aperol. One ounce of Amaro Nanino. And one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And now we can fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna fine strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. So now that the classic paper plane is done, we can set it aside and prepare the clarified one. Now, full disclosure, clarifying a cocktail takes more than 30 seconds. So for the sake of this video, I've prepared one ahead of time so you don't have to wait two hours with me while it's being clarified. And this is the result that you will get after the clarification. So now all you have to do is to pour four ounces of it in a mixing glass. or all of it. Add some ice and give it a little stir for about 10 to 15 seconds. And we can strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. We have both of them now ready to taste, so let the challenge begin and start with the classic one. Mm. Mm. I get a lot of bitterness and herbs flavor from the Nonino, and also quite a lot of orange flavors, and I think it goes really well with the Aperol. Then I get a lot of wood notes from the bourbon, which ties this all together. A little kick of acidity from the lemon, but it's not overpowering. It blends and balances really well with both uh, sugar flavor components, the Nonino and the Aperol and the cocktail. I also believe that this is perfectly balanced. I understand the concept of a holy trinity, but I would even say that this is not only three components here we have four the perfect balance between sweet sour bitter and strength because the bourbon gives a lot of body to the cocktail it is very pleasant very pleasant but not overpowering it is a delicious a delicious cocktail i highly recommend it so now let's give the clarified one a try but another sip before mm -hmm. it's very really good Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. It's the first time I make the comparison side by side. I've had that before, and this one as well. But side by side is the first time. I always say that clarifying a cocktail makes it smoother, that it actually um, rounds the uh, rough edges of spirit or acidity. But now in this case, we have a hint more of bitterness while the acidity is really tapers down and we literally almost no wood taste from the bourbon. The bourbon taste, we, we get it, but it's not like if it's an aged spirit anymore. It's very interesting. And we do taste more lemon than orange in this one without being too citric or acidic. It is very interesting, very cool experiment, but if I would have to pick one, go with the classic one. Samras, good job on that. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you very soon.
Cheers. Hmm. Want to try? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to leave with this one. <laughs>